Hey guys and welcome to this new video of Xamarin Forms. So today I'm gonna show you how to make uh, your application uh, multilingual. So we're gonna use um, French, English and uh, Dutch languages. So before that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification. So here I have already created the Xamarin Farms project. So let's move to the project and create a new folder called Translate um, Extension. And let's create a new class called Translate Extension. So before that, let's change the folder name to Extensions only. And let's make this class public and static. So here we're gonna add attribute content property to say that the property um, that will be translated um, in the XAML uh, page, XAML code will be a text property. So now we're gonna uh, add a new um, variable called resource ID, which will represent um, the name of our file language. So here it will be uh, multilingual dot res dot app resources after that we're gonna create um, something called a resource manager so the resource manager um, it will be um, the orchestra that will uh, load every time we need to uh, get the translation of uh, a level key okay so the um, resource manager it will be equal to a lazy um, object or class uh, type of resource manager and the lazy which means we're gonna load the files uh, on lazy loading so this um, lazy uh, taking constructor um, let's say anonymous function that we're gonna create in which we're gonna create a new resource manager that will take the name of uh, the resource id and the type of uh, translation extension that uh, type uh, get type and food dot uh, assembly so we're gonna put the assembly name no we're gonna create a public property called string a type of string called text that will represent the text property in the xaml code great so i forgot to say that this class um, implements the i markup extensions so that's why we're gonna have the mapping between this text created here property and the text property in the xaml uh, code so on the provide value here uh, we're gonna um, translate um, uh, we're gonna translate the resource so we're gonna check if the text is different from null uh, so it's if the text is null return empty string and if the text is different from null so we need to get the current culture if we are in english in french in dutch and after that we're gonna call the mm, resource manager dot get to string uh, and let's take the text and the culture so we're gonna get the value of the text uh level key switch the culture cool now let's move to um the project and create a new folder called res in which we're gonna create three files one for english one for french and the last one for dutch language and by default um, um the language will be the the english so the the default file will be app resource dot rex and for the other one we need to add dot fr dot de for english for dutch and inside it we're going to define the name of our label and the value which will be the dead translated text so and finally here we're going to move to the main page and the first thing we need to do it is to um, import the namespace here of our extensions and inside uh, the text uh, property of the label tag we're gonna call translator dot translate welcome text so we're gonna change the label to the right spelling welcome with e 
and the last one so let's go to the simulator here and the first thing is to uh, search languages and input in order to add um, the other two language in, in order to make your uh, test so here we're gonna add um, two other language by default here we have the english language okay and we're gonna see um, the french language so this is the french and the dutch maybe so i think it's okay so we need to tap it twice in order to add it and the last one is the dutch um, language so here we have the free language let's deploy the application here and see if our application will translate automatically um, the text so here we have <laughs> the english one and let's change the language to um, french so we need to drag and drop it, the french language to the top and after that you have to close your application in order to get um, the trans the correct translation okay so here let's launch and you're gonna see something cool awesome that's worked correctly so here we have the french text that's very nice so and the same thing the same way i think when we put the dutch one at the top we're gonna make um a translation to yeah we need to close the application and reopen it so very nice here we're gonna say um thank you uh, for watching the video and uh, don't forget to subscribe see you next tutorial